Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you really quickly here how Automator works. Uh, it could be very confusing. I'm using version 3.0 here. Uh, what we're going to do is is we're going to res we're going to batch resize images, and then we will rename those images. Um, you know, uh, let's just say for the sake of this one in a, a sequential kind of order. Um, so when you first open it, you're going to get a window like this. This is choose a type of uh, type for your document. We're just going to do a new workflow here. Good, uh, click the new workflow. All you have to do is, you know, I got some images here on my desktop. Uh, drag your images in, uh, and there's your images. This is this is everything that's going to get batched. Uh, say we want to make these images maybe thumbnails, right? And we want to resize them. So we go to our photo at, we actions area here, our actions library. Go to photos. This is going to give us all our little photo uh, options. Okay. We could rotate images, scale. Um, you know, put put more space in images. We are going to take the scale images and drag it in there. Okay. Um, now, what you're going to want to do, and it's, it's very important, usually you get a, a prompt that comes up. You want to copy these, these images here into a folder because I have, I have resized very large images and it was a headache to get them back uh, because they were the original ones. You, you want to make a copy of the, of the images that you're scaling down because you might go back and have to use the larger images. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go into, let's see here, our files and folders, and then we need to go, um, let's see here, it's one of these. Um, get specified, move, move finder items or something, let's see, yeah. Move finder items, we're gonna put that in there. So basically what this is gonna do is we're gonna tell it to say, hey, take these, images, put them, make a copy in a specific folder. So let's just say, let's just go to the desktop, right? And we're going to make a folder saying, okay, this is an example folder. It's going to make a copy of these images, put them in that folder, and then it's going to resize them. And let's just say 150 for thumbnails. And let's see here, let me open up. Here's our folder. And when we run, when we go up here in the corner and go run, it took all those images and made them, made the, the, the largest point 150 pixels. So if it was 800 by 600, it's going to take that 800 pixel in portion of the image and make it 150. Um, and so now you can see that. Um, like this one, for example, the largest point is 150 by 112. Uh, now, say we want to rename these. Um, it's it's actually quite easy. So I'm just going to close all this out. Let's take uh, tr take our new thumbnails, drag them in, okay, and then what we're going to do is let's see. Okay, so what we're doing, go back into file files and folders up here. We're going to go rename finder items. It's real simple. Um, you could, it'll, let's see here. Let's see what our options are before I stumble over my words. Um, I've used this for making se sequential here. Okay, so I'm going to say, well, I want the, the image to say, to, you know, title of the B, IMG for image. And, you know, place the number after the name, image. Okay, start numbers at one separate it. I like to separate with an underscore and then um, make all numbers, you know, two, three, four digits, however long. So meaning it could be image underscore. If we make it three digits, it should be zero, zero, one, zero, zero, two, zero, zero, three, etc. So um, when I run this and pay attention here, you're going to watch it. It's going to, there we go. See it renames them in sequence for you. So I hope that helps and um, don't be intimidated by the automator. It's an awesome, awesome little utility on the Mac here. Um, so enjoy, have fun.